Hi, and welcome to episode 59 of Two Crafty Stitches. Today is July 1st, 2017. <laughs> Almost forgot that. <laughs> I am Sandy, also known as Nits and Bits. And I'm Kelly, also known as Pearly Girl 75 So it's been like a month. Probably. So. Something like that. Yeah. I was a bit out of pocket, not in the state of Florida. So we had to uh, postpone a little bit. Yes. But it was a well-deserved and very fun vacation. Good. So, can't complain. <laughs> and then I'm going out of town, but midweek, not yeah. during a weekend. So <laughs> Now, I have to say, because I went up to Seattle, mm -hmm. it was so cold. Yeah. So I got to wear knit socks every day. Nice. It was amazing. <laughs> I wore, like, all my knitwear. Yes. So... Speaking of knitwear mm -hmm. and knitting items, yes, we will start with the standard new items. Mm -hmm. So, did you have anything? I mean, I okay. do, but I'm going to talk about it later with something else. So. Okay. Well, because it would go into something else later. So, while I was gone, because mm -hmm. so the last few times I've had uh, the Paradise Fibers Club box. Mm -hmm. Um. Did I tell you that I didn't realize when I was signing up for it, it was reoccurring? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's a month thing. So I'll just do it for a month. And so it, it's been reoccurring. I'm not complaining. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I just forget to, you know, say, oh, let's hold off. So I actually have another one coming here soon. <laughs> it has just been shipped. So I've, I briefly looked at this. Mm -hmm. So white box. Yes. I don't actually remember what the thing was, but... Um, cause that's how awesome I am. Um, I don't, I don't know. This is, it's a lot of reading. Yeah, this is a lot of reading. <laughs> Something about Spokane. So, okay. All right. So more of the fun stuff. So <laughs> it's a nice black and that was a red dot mm -hmm. that I just ripped apart because that's how I do things <laughs> when you opened it. And look at these little bags. Oh, cute. They are adorable. They're shiny. I know. <laughs> so we'll start with the gray one. Okay. That's oh. all sparkly with polka dots on it. Yes. It has like little gold dots on it. <laughs> and has fiber in it. Mm -hmm. And it's, I believe, four ounces of both. If I remember correctly. Yeah. That says four ounces. Yeah. It does say four. four ounces. Also. Okay. So I'm not going to take it all the way out. But... So that is the first one. This is the sea cell and merino. Okay. So it's very um. It looks like ice cream. It does. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I have. I still have no idea what I'm going to be doing with it. Spinning. I think this is uh <laughs> supposed to be like a beach theme. Okay. Yeah. So let me show this. Here, do you want me to work on that while you do the next thing? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then the other one is a blue. See, look how easy that was. Now that I just dropped it on the floor. <laughs> and so the other one is blue, and this is flax, silk, and super fine merino. Oh, okay. Oh, and it coordinates with the bag. It does. Very well. So mm -hmm. that's with this one. Now... For this one, mm -hmm. if you remember, I want to say it was Yarn Pirate. I had yarn in those exact colors. Maybe. And I've made socks out of it, and I okay. love them. And then I've had, like, two other <laughs> yarns, I think, from Yarn Pirate in those colors, and I made one pair for my sister. <laughs> I think I have one sitting in my stash. Yeah. Yes. Let me give that to you. I know. So, I could have put that in there, too. I know. Whatever. So then there's also a little note in the jar, mm -hmm. which... Oh, because it's a message in a bottle. It is. Message in a bottle, note in a jar. You know. <laughs> note in a jar. <laughs> it's the, the famous, like, sting in the police song or whatever. <laughs> note in a jar. It just doesn't sound the same as message in a bottle. <laughs> but it's adorable. I'm not going to open it to see what the note is. Yeah. Because I... Or the message. <laughs> yeah, the message. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Although, I don't know if it has any writing. Oh, I think it does. Oh, maybe it's like a coupon code or something for your okay. next month. <laughs> Which already went through. 
<laughs> okay, I'm 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 doing it. Okay. Let's this try not exciting. to like it is For unscripted me. right now. Oh, like any like of we're ever scripted. scripted. <laughs> oh, I have sand all over me. Oh, good. Oh my God, it is. So there's a sale ha happening just for you. Fifteen dollars off all treasure located. Yeah. There you go. And it has my coupon code. Yes. So don't share that. No, I didn't. That's your coupon code. Although I already just automatically had my next shipment come out. And then I have this little thing, <laughs> which I'm going to let you open. Oh, this is like some fire star. Yeah, that's what it is. Yes. Couldn't remember off the top of my head. Get it. Oh, look. So you can oh. see how sparkly it is. And that you can probably blend in with your. Yeah, I think that's what it's for. Yeah, add it in. And then this cute little sticker, which is a sailor sheep. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Yes. And then some taffy, salt water taffy. Let's say probably seawater, but yeah, salt water. Sea <laughs> you know, notes and jars, seawater taffy, <laughs> things that sound really nice for the season we're in because <laughs> this is how I roll and look at there's like a little tiny tiny shell in there yes I'm not gonna try and no because you get sand all over my house I know. and I'd be not very amused. upset look so, I can't figure out which way I'm but there we go oh there we go okay I kept like feeling like I was getting further and further <laughs> away and I didn't feel like I was moving but I like every time I looked over I was like more Were and more you just, out like, of leaning? I don't know because like it wasn't just this though I actually had to like move my butt and everything to get back over here so I don't know what happened. I don't know like I said unscripted stuff lots of unscripted who knows crinkle crinkle <laughs> so yeah so that is adorable I really like those pouches that yes. the fibers in and yes, the note in package. the jar. <laughs> and the seawater taffy. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you don't have anything. Well, I do, but I, I, mean, well, I need to talk section. about it later. So yes, for this okay. segment, no. Then finished object. Oh, I have a finished object. Okay, so do I. Okay, so I first. dug deep, deep into stash. Like, I looked it up on Ravelry, and I put this on Ravelry back in 2007, which means I bought it before 2007, because yeah. it's been around for a long time, but 2007, I think, is probably when I got Ravelry or whatever. And let me so, just say, I've been trying to get this yarn because I'm like, I want to do that. Yeah. So, yeah. and because I think someone had knit some socks with it, and I was like, oh, that's really cool. And I searched down on the internet, and this is like, what, 2000, probably 2006 internet or whatever. So, you know, it was amazing. And, um, and I put it in my stash. Yeah, that would have been right when we first met. Right. Yeah, I and, think I remember that. And every year I have said, I'm going to make socks with this yarn and I'm going to do it for like the 4th of July, which is crazy because I live in Florida and it's not like I'm going to wear them on July 4th because it's very hot. But anyway, so I finished my socks finally. I, I okay. started and finished and no, they don't match up at I all. I know. Um, They're kind of close. But anyway... Look, I can't, I can't figure out directions here. So anyway, Towards I have me. my sock blockers, but I'm too lazy to go get them. Yeah. So anyway, they're just a standard. Do they fit you? Yes, they do. Good. They are just a standard like stockinette sock with an afterthought heel. And I did a twisted rib. Oh, for the fancy. Cuff. I know. And this is opal? No, it's no? not even opal. It's, I don't even, I don't know. It's somewhere. Hold on. Put it in your bag. <laughs> Maybe. So, no. Yes, it is. Ha! It is in my bag. Um, it is Fortissima Calori Saka Color. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, it's Scholler and Stahl. And it's a whole bunch of German writing. <laughs> there you go. Let's just show that. Yes. So, I don't know. But anyway. Yeah. I've yeah. had it for at least 11 years, probably 12 years. It's super washed wool. It is. And I have finally made something with it. So, yay. Yes. I like them. Yeah. And you, and I gave you a little ball to go in your soccer blanket. And I have a little ball of leftovers too, because I had split it into two before I started making this because I was, where was I going? I was doing something and I was like, I don't have a project to work on. I think I was going to get my hair done and <laughs> I was like, I don't have a project that's like small to work on 
because like the projects that I had been doing recently were like the ginormous never ending shawl. You could have taken that. And it was done. I'd finished oh. it. And um that was about all I had really to work on, except that I have that um Martina Bem, the pink shawl, but I haven't touched it in a while and it takes concentration. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I wanted something I didn't really have to think about. And so I've been kinda of, so I was like, hmm, you know what? It's almost July. Maybe I'll get these socks done this summer. So I pulled it out and started them and they just have kind of worked on them a little bit um, when I get free time and finish them. So my <laughs> finished object, which I wore one time and it was way too hot to wear because <laughs> I wore it in Kansas, mm -hmm. was my Gemini shirt. Oh, yeah. Which... It can be reversible, so it can either be this way mm -hmm. or be a little bit fancier in this way. Yeah. It's a little bit on the big side, but I do need to wash it and maybe not block it. Mm -hmm. I might have to take these arms out because I did it by instructions, and they're huge. I was going to say, those are really, really big yeah, arms. Yeah, it's huge. It, like, yeah. when I'm wearing it, it actually, like, comes up, like, and comes out like this, so it's like... Hey, everybody. <laughs> so I'm going to see how it does with the uh, washing and blocking. Yeah. Because it grew when I was wearing it. Mm -hmm. It was not like that. What was going to say, before. isn't it linen? A little bit. A little bit. It's a something. little bit of everything. Okay. Because it's like a recycled yarn. Yeah. But other than that, it's fun. So I might just have to make it really, you know, small in the arms. And then it's okay if it's loose. Yeah. Or my torso a little you bit. You just don't want, like, your arm things hanging down here. Well, it's not hanging there. It comes, or like, coming like near. this. It's like, yeah. whoa. <laughs> like, I don't need everybody to see that. Yeah. Because <laughs> that was not awkward at all. <laughs> and it was not awkward when I was wearing it. And throughout the night, it just got bigger and bigger. <laughs> yeah. So that's my only finished object. Mm -hmm. I do have a few works in progress. Okay. Well, a finished object I brought because I have some squares at home. Yeah. But yeah. So do you want to do your works in progress? I only have one. Okay. So I'll let you do your I, This is a really light episode for me. I have nothing new really. And I have like one finished object and like one work in progress that I've actually been working on. And when I say I've been working on, I worked on it today while I was waiting for you to come over. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I know I did not get anything in Kansas or in Washington when I was there because we just didn't have time stopping yeah. at any yarn stores. It was crazy busy. Yeah. So. Um, so the little spinning project that I've been working on with the, it's like the gradient rainbow jewel toned, whatever. And I've been spinning it on my little spindles. Well, it's summer and I, I've been going to summer school during the day and I don't have any free time in summer school at all. Like yeah. not even lunch is free time because I, we eat with the kids and stuff. So I don't even take it. And then when I'm at home, I'm like, Meh, I don't really want to work on this. And then I get busy doing other stuff around the house or like trying to catch up on TV or whatever. Um, <laughs> and so, so today I was like, you know what? I only have three, two and a half colors left to do on this spindle spinning project. I'm spinning it on the mini, mini electric spinner those last couple colors because I'm lazy and because why not and so um and I bought a little battery thing because you can run it off a nine volt battery so yeah. I, yesterday I'd gotten in some rechargeable nine volt batteries I bought I bought this little adapter thing I actually have a set of five because I bought them on eBay and they only came in like sets of five so I have like five of these things and then um I had to place an Amazon order because that shoes for this show that <laughs> I'm in. And so I was like, well, Shoes. let me just throw in this little thing of batteries, you know, so rechargeable, you know, rechargeable. Cause I was like, I'm not going to go, you know, cause really, um, I was able to get like maybe three quarters of the color done. And then I had to flip out for another battery cause it still was running. It just wouldn't go as fast. Yeah, and it's yeah. cause I was running it on the highest speed anyway. Cause so you're like, just get it done. I know, seriously. So <laughs> I was running on the highest speed, which I'm sure. If, and plus like, Anyway, so I was running on the high speed, so it was, like, kind of going through the battery kind of fast. So, um, anyway, so I was, like, flip out for another one, which is nice having the extras of these things. So then I just, like, when once I charged the batteries, I stuck them in this, and then I just had to unplug and plug the next yeah, little yeah. thing in there. Anyway, so it's really nice because it's very portable with, you know, the battery. Um, because the little cord that it came with is, like, literally, like, that long. <laughs> And so you have to be like, like I know somewhere. <laughs> and so you have to be like really close to the outlet, which none of my outlets are really close to, unless they, I like put it over here and like, and that's just awkward. So you know they make extension cords. I know, but and I'm sure you have a bunch here. I know. But anyway, so 
So I got the last couple of colors done. So now I can do the plying, but the plying I'm not going to do on this. I'll do the plying on the spindle because I like doing the plying, you know, on the Turkish spindle or whatever. Yeah. So I'm going to ply them. But so I did like one color per little bobbin, but I had a little issue with one of my bobbins where I had to glue the piece back on. So oh, no, which I mean, I just grabbed some super glue and all this. Yeah, um, it but, was, and I noticed it before I started spinning. Oh, so, good. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. So, so today what I was doing was I, so I spun three colors today, this afternoon. <laughs> So, so I have this color, which was like half of a, look, I cannot do this measure thing. Anyway, so half of a, <laughs> put it in your other hand, half, because I've got this in my other hand. So I've got like, it's like half of the color. And then I have this, which is like the next color, which I wound off because I needed the bobbin yeah. to do, because I thought I was done. And then I opened the drawer and I was like, oh no, there's another color. So I finished this color too, which is like the deep purpley maroon color. But anyway, so what my new item is besides my little batteries to go on that thing. Um, so I had been reading, I've been reading, um, cause I, I know it seems like what on earth. I've been so, watching that or looking at figuring that. it out. Okay. <laughs> so when I spin with my spindle and stuff, I do like the, I, when I first started spinning with the spindle, I, I was, you know, a big devotee of Abby Frankemont and her videos and her books and everything. Yeah. And she likes doing the, um, the ply balls to ply from instead of like, cause you don't have bobbins when you spin and everything. And of course, um, I could spin from like the little turtles that are made, but those things tangle and whatever. So I like using the ply ball method anyway, cause you can also do like, if you were doing two ply, you can ball it all up together. Yeah. But the problem that I have with the ply ball is when I start the ply ball, I start it with like the little fingers and you do the butterfly thing and then you end up like going around and you fold it in half and you do whatever to make the little core. Yeah. Um, and then when I'm, which, which is fine, but when you're spinning and then you, or when you're plying and you get towards that little butterfly thing or whatever, first of all, that tangles up sometimes and is a mess and it's not under tension. Mm -hmm. The whole time it's in there, it's not under the same tension. The rest of it's under. So sometimes it just comes unspun and whatever. So I remembered someone online talking about using like a center for your ply balls. And so I pulled out my little Abby Frank mom book and she was like, use a tennis ball. And I'm like, well, tennis balls are big. And I was like, these are little whatever. And I thought, I don't need to get the small tennis right, balls. But even the, the small ones for the dog, they're still. So I thought, well, I want something that's like a little small that I can use for any time I'm doing my you know, spinning on a spindle and then do my plying and all this to do my pie ball. So I went on to Amazon because she also recommended a felt, a wool felt core, like mm -hmm. a wool felt balls. So I typed into Amazon wool felt balls and I got a set. <laughs> that is more than a set. I know. Well, they only, they only sold them in like a hundred. So, <laughs> oh my God. and they have different sizes of them too. But anyway, so so they yeah, are those from, look all like the same size. No, but I mean like you could buy this size or another size okay, or whatever. Okay, so okay. this is the size because I was like, I don't know what these sizes mean. This looks like it would be a good size, which it is because it's not, you know, it's not too big. And it's nice for a little set. Let me get one. That's yeah, I was going to say, why did you pick that color? And it's my finish color because <laughs> it was the closest to the hole. There. Okay. So anyway. So it's just a little felt. Over here in between It's us. only, it's a little felt and they're from New Zealand hand felted in Nepal and you can use them for like garlands and stuff, or you can put them in the center of your ball of singles. So, cause it was just like a little small project anyway, but I figure even if I did larger ones and needed bigger ones, this would be a nice center to have. It and then it be. keeps it under tension and you don't have the big like tangled mess that I end up with. So that's like my new item is my giant bag of <laughs> felt balls. Felt, felt balls 100 percent pure new zealand wool from new zealand from amazon it was like 14 bucks or something for 100 of them so they had smaller packages they had like a package of like 20 of them but it was like 12 dollars. and i was like well if i'm gonna spend 12 dollars, i might as well pay an extra two and get 80 more yeah so. <laughs> seriously so anyway so seeing we're talking about spinning yes i'll go into the spinning portion of my work okay. in progress yes so i have my into the world odds and ends yes which i believe you gave to me from maryland sheep and wool i think is where i bought it possibly i honestly don't remember i think i did buy it at maryland sheep and wool and two years ago <laughs> so it comes in lots of little tiny little bits like this mm -hmm. little butterflies bits and bobs yes so 
So I've already <laughs> finished one of them. Okay. And then. Oh, look how nice that's turning out. I know. So I'm on my second one. Uh-huh. Which this thing just like completely came unraveled. Yeah. Well. And so because, oh, well, I guess let me start. I'm using my Scottish spindle from Snyder Spindles. Yes. And it is the 1.4 ounces. Uh-huh. And I am, I started just spinning it and then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to ply on the fly. So I took it all out and I plied it this morning <laughs> and um, started doing ply on the fly. Mm-hmm. And in his video, what he said is instead of just automatically coming down here on his regular spinning, right? we didn't do any ply of the fly. Right. He would build it up here for that's, a little while. That's kind of what I've seen support spindler people. Like when they do yeah. the Russian support spindles and they build it up at the top and then they like undo it and like wind it on the bottom or something. Yeah. So that's what I've been doing. I've yeah. been um, building up my singles here and then ply on the fly down here. Mm-hmm. And my first color went from like reds to like this blue. And so I'm, I'm trying to keep it going. So I went from blue to like this green to that orange and then I'll try and Find, find something, something that matches in here and mm-hmm. then go from there. Yes. So it's going to be fun. Yes. So I've only been doing this like little tiny bits here and there. Mm-hmm. So it's probably going to take me three years to get through. Well, hence why I pulled out my little e-spinner and was like, yeah. that's it. I'm finishing it today. <laughs> but <laughs> at least the spinning part. I enjoy mm-hmm. it. I like yeah. the Scottish spindle. Yeah. Well, so. I like the Turkish spindles too, but yeah. I like them when I'm out somewhere. I don't usually yeah. use them at home. I was using mine Yeah, at home. see, I don't normally use, I'm not usually yeah. a big spinner on the spindle at home. It's like if I'm out somewhere waiting in line for something or, you know, having free yeah. time after I eat my lunch, you know, a few minutes here and there. It's when I like to use it. Well, I brought that to Seattle and I did no spinning out there. Mm-hmm. Um, I did work on some socks. Yes. I don't know if you recognize this at all. I just ripped <laughs> out the socks I was knitting out of that yarn. Yeah, so this is the <laughs> patents. Because when I was looking for a little project to work on, I had those, and I was, like, going to rip them out anyway. So I ripped them out, wound up the yarn or whatever, and then started on the... Um, and you're like, oh, I just can't. Yes. Yeah, because when you said... Because I really like how it's knit. I really like the how it knits up. You know, I, I mean, know. like, the pattern, the color. I like that, but I don't like... I didn't like what I was doing with the yarn. It was too thick. So it's patents, croys, yes. meadow stripes, which I got on clearance for four ninety seven each, and I think there was also a sale. Yeah. Um, and I forgot I had it until <laughs> right before my trip. And I ran into it. I'm like, ha ha ha! I'm gonna start knitting something with that now because she's ripping it out. Yes. Well, it's so, sat here for a while waiting to be ripped out too. So. I'm not gonna lie. I ripped it out three times because I was doing another pattern, and then. Uh, I guess uh, I was on the airplane or in Kansas. I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing a pattern. I'm just doing like my standard yeah. little like rib on both sides because mm-hmm. I like how that ends up fitting. And I'm like, it'll just be easy. Right. I won't have to think about it. And so this ended up being my project. I took places mm-hmm. like to the baseball game in Seattle yeah. to graduation, which I don't think I really did anything. But and then I did not bring everything here because I just realized it. My sweater mm-hmm. that I've been working on. I finished the sleeves. Okay. I have a good portion of the body done. <laughs> I was working on this on the planes and a little bit in Seattle. And I'm all sorts of tied up. So super exciting. <laughs> so this is the Hearn cardigan. Her- Herne? H E R N E, I think. I don't know. <laughs> It's from a Knit Picks book. So it is out of Touch of Alpaca. Uh-huh. Um, and it has lots of cables, some like moss stitch, some more cables. And then there's going to be a pocket right here. So yes, super excited. Um, I am at the part where it comes like around here, which you can't see. So I'm like almost here. <laughs> Here. It comes here. <laughs> so it's under my bus and I'm going to start doing the shaping of the neck. Ah. So I just did the first decrease on that. So super excited. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully I'll get it done in the next month. That's my goal. Yes. I am over the halfway mark. So, <laughs> yes. so that is all of my works in progress that I have with me mm-hmm. that I'm really actively working on. Yep. Um, 
Now, while I was in Seattle, they had this candy, chocolate, Baby Bigfoot Loves Huckleberry Chocolate. Oh. Have you ever had Huckleberry? Um, yes. Out Did in like Idaho, it? I think I had some Huckleberry stuff. Huckleberry chocolate? Well, not chocolate, no, but I think that they had Huckleberry Well, stuff we're going to try chocolate okay, Huckleberry stuff. Some. And then I have to have dinner. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to try it on here. I've never had any Huckleberry. Okay. I, I want to say, I want to say that maybe, I don't know. Well, what am I supposed to use? Yeah, you're going <laughs> to rip it off. Break well, it off. They're, they're like little... Oh, there are little squares. Okay. Does it matter? Well, I mean, well, that's a lot. I just ripped off. I don't <laughs> Here. Oh, thank you. Uh oh, I just dropped a piece of chocolate on the futon. This has a very interesting taste. <laughs> Is this with real huckleberries? I don't know. <laughs> it tastes a little artificial to me. <laughs> I don't know. But it's like Seattle chocolate. It was that their airport? <laughs> the faces that we're both making. <laughs> Our apologies to the people of Seattle who adore this chocolate. <laughs> I have another one of these too. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, let me see. Yeah, it's got chocolate in it. Huckleberry flavor. Oh, so then I also have partially produced with genetic engineering. <laughs> it says that right on the on the label too. I did not read the label when I bought it. It had part, Huckleberry flavor parentheses soybean. <laughs> Re refined soybeans, benzyl alcohol, and BHT, and then it says partially produced with genetic engineering. Okay. Okay. So this is spookandy. <laughs> the chocolates here, sea salt caramels, and this was also at the airport. So I'm like, you know what? We did not get any candy. <laughs> And this is made in Why Spokane, is Bigfoot Washington. wearing a diaper? Because he is baby Bigfoot. Oh. What? <laughs> I think that's dark and, and milk. milk. So which one no, do you I will want? try a dark. Okay, then I'll try a milk. <laughs> and this should be real caramel. I don't know. This tastes better. It does. <laughs> I don't think it could have tasted worse. <laughs> it, it's also partially genetic <laughs> engineered. Do they not believe in non-GMOs in, in the airport in Washington State? <laughs> I would think in Washington of all places they oh, would have an... Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot better than the other stuff. <laughs> That's because it's not... Huckleberry flavor with soybean. Oh, there's the GMO taste. <laughs> it has like a little aftertaste too. Maybe that's what that was. And the other thing. I don't know. So, you know, we tell it like it is though on this show. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> no. I probably wouldn't have paid the amount of money I did for it because it was at an airport. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those weren't cheap. <laughs> so, anyway. So, uh, so have you're you going to buy candy at Seattle Airport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go to like a candy shop that's not the airport. <laughs> Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Yeah. Okay, so I guess this is our knitting and candy eating portion of the show is over. Yeah. So our um, reading and watching TV. Yes. And movies. Mm -hmm. Which I was telling you, I watched a few episodes of Young Sheldon. Okay. On the airplane. Which I have never seen. 
which was really funny. Yeah. And I, I keep meaning to watch it, but I haven't. My dad loves it. So we watched, so they gave us little, um, cause he refused to sit in anything but first class from <laughs> all the years of him traveling. Mm -hmm. He's like, I can't go back to coach. I'm like, I've never done first class. So we <laughs> did that. And they gave us like the little tablets oh. instead of charging us $10 for them. Mm -hmm. And he's like, okay, we're going to watch this together on two separate ones. It's like, and go. <laughs> like, okay, go. So that was kind of cute. Mm -hmm. And it was funny. I've watched yeah. it more. It was only the first few episodes. And then on the way back, we watched Western. I don't remember which one. Okay. Yeah. Well, I am all caught up on The Handmaid's Tale. And I think there's one or two episodes left. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not I've seen up. conflicting reports. Like, everyone I've talked to has told me there's one episode left, but if you look on IMDb, there are two listed, but only one of them has a name to it, so I don't know what that means. But Hopefully anyway. there's two. Anyway, so I am caught up on that. I am about halfway through, because I know Westworld season just ended. I'm, like, halfway through season two of Westworld. Um, tell me anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't, I probably couldn't if I tried because I'm that confused right now with the show. Um, <laughs> okay. and let's see. Um, I, well, for Westworld, for Westworld, is it okay for me to watch at the gym or is there going to be some racy scenes where I'd have to like, ah, like I have been with the Handmaid's Tale? Not racy, but you know, I mean, sometimes those, the, the host robot things are nude. Actually, there was a naked man in one of the early episodes that, you know. I think I saw that one. Yet. Yeah. They don't shy away from the full frontal nudity. On I HBO. think that's right when Josh walked in. I'm like, sure. Because, you know. Anyway. He's like, what are you watching? Yeah. Um, it's just robots that pretend that they're in, you know, the yeah. Western, <laughs> Old West. No, okay. there hasn't been. An, I mean, there's like obviously violence and stuff. But, yeah. But, you know, no, it's more yeah. of a. Um, yeah. And then. That's, I think, about it for TV viewing for me. Um, I have, like, a list of things I want to watch this summer when I have time. But, like, Handmaid's Tale was on there, and then I have to catch up on Westworld. Um, and then, oh, we saw Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom in the movie was theater. It, good? it was good. Um, the first Jurassic World was better, I thought. But, you know, it's a sequel, yeah. you know. And, I mean, like, and you have to look at it as, like, they're rebooting the franchise. And so it's the sequel to your first whatever. And so, I mean, it was it was good. It just, I liked the first one better. Um, Target has a whole bunch of Jurassic World stuff. <laughs> Did you know that? No. <laughs> yeah, so I was last week out in, like, Orlando ish area mm -hmm. and I happened to go into a Target and I might have bought a shirt that is like a shell uh -huh. that might have little dinosaurs all over it like that big. Well I have a Jurassic <laughs> World shirt that is like the logo that I got at Kohl's and it's the logo for and it says Jurassic World and it has the dinosaur and everything and the bat and it's all made up of little flowers and teeny little dinosaurs everywhere. Well this is just like you know, yeah. something I'm going to wear at work. Yeah. Um, so I saw that, um, oh, we saw the new Star Wars. I don't think we've talked about that. We saw the new Han Solo movie. Meh. And I like Star Wars. I did not care for it, this one. Um, and, um, oh, I went and I saw the Broadway musical Bandstand. They were mm -hmm. showing it in movie theaters. Um, you probably would have liked this one. If it comes out on DVD or digital or something, you should see it. Um, because yeah, it was, I think we talked about it. Yeah. And I'm like, I might actually watch that. Yeah, it's um, the 1940s and it's um, World War II veterans coming back and forming a band. And I love 1940s right. music. Oh, and the co the the music was amazing. The the dancing, all that stuff. Um, unfortunately, it was not on Broadway that long. It won a Tony Award for choreography, but it wasn't on Broadway that long. I think they didn't market it well enough because mm -hmm. no one knew what it was about. But um, they the when they showed it in the movie theaters, they had an introduction by um, Jill Biden, um, and who was talking about um, soldiers and everything and. At the end, they talked about how some of the, you know, it said, had a thing that came up on the screen, how some of the proceeds went to several of the different veterans organizations and stuff oh, from, the, from it. So, which um, I think they did when it was on Broadway too. But anyway, so it was very, very good. Um, I saw that. And let me think what else. Oh, last night we had a free Redbox rental 
And so mm-hmm. John and I watched Black Panther because we hadn't seen that one yet. How so was that? It was really good. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. So That's I haven't seen, I'm list. like so far behind on all my Marvel movies that I've given up on trying to watch them in order. And it's just like, you know what, this one's Ooh. on or I have a free rental. I'm just going to watch it. No, so. I'm still trying to watch them in order. Yeah. I'm like the second Thor, I think is where I'm at. I think that when I was doing that, I think I was on the second Iron Man. I don't know. It was like, well, I'm way far behind on that. So so it was a Redbox rental, and I was like, oh, look, they have this one actually available, because every time we've had a free Redbox rental through um, T-Mobile, because they do their T-Mobile Tuesday yeah. thing, yeah. every time we have one, and I go to look at our, you know, online on our Redbox that's at the grocery store where I shop, they never have it, and so they finally had it yesterday. So we watched it last night, and I enjoyed it. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm not caught up on Handmaid's Tale. I started watching... Um, the Ranch, because that came out. Mm-hmm. You don't watch that. I started watching it in season one, and I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. I, I made it through five or six episodes, and it was just not my thing. I really like it. So, and Josh, he, do, he doesn't watch it with me because it has that laugh track. <laughs> so, yes, I'm rolling my eyes. Big, <laughs> he doesn't watch anything with laugh tracks. <laughs> um, but he, like, came in today, because I was watching it today, and he's like, you know, you've watched... A lot of this, like, over the few years that it's come out. And he's like, I've heard it in the background. And this is a very confusing show. Because there's this laugh track, but then they're talking about really serious stuff. <laughs> like, death and mm-hmm. destruction and that. But then there's this laugh track. It's like, I don't understand this show. <laughs> I'm like, you should watch it. And he's like, no, there's a laugh track. Yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so that that was kind of funny. Like, I, I stopped and oh, laughed at him. Oh, John and I, because we had some issues with our internet slash cable and all that type of stuff yeah, yeah. a few weeks ago or whatever. And um, so when the cable guy was out at our house fixing everything, because we had neighbors move in, which meant that all of our stuff got disconnected. I, big mess. Anyway, he looked at our... Um, we have Spectrum, who used to be Bright House, and all of our DVRs in our house are the old Bright House ones. And he's mm-hmm. like, you probably should, you know, we should get you the new ones because these are really old. He's like, that model's been out for like, you know, hasn't been around for like five years or whatever. Well, we have stuff to watch in them. Well, first of all, one, the one downstairs rebooted itself. Like, it got frozen, rebooted itself, and lost half of our recorded stuff. Like, I kid you not, half of our stuff. So we've been trying to go through and watching things, you know, we've been like trying to get get caught up on stuff or whatever. And a lot of stuff was like John's stuff. And I was like, you know what? They have these seasons available on Netflix. We can just delete them off the DVR. So that way, while I'm still off for the summer, when we come back from our little trip, I can make an appointment when I'm home during the day and they can come and replace our little boxes. Because they said, you know, just tell them you need new boxes. So I was like, cool. So we've been watching um, the show um, Kevin Can Wait which was on CBS and it has um, the guy from King of Queens in it, Kevin James. And so we watched all of season one, which was like 22 episodes that we had in the DVR. (laughs) Was it that good? uh, (laughs) And I just, I was looking up too, because I was like, because when we have season two recorded in the DVR, but we only have up through like episode 16 because episode 17 through 20 something are some of the stuff that got deleted from our DVR. Yeah. So um, I said, you know, well, let's just see whatever. And so um, the season season one wasn't that bad, I guess. I don't know. I had read something. I know they replaced the wife for season two. Like they killed off the wife because like, I guess people didn't like her because they preferred seeing Kevin James with Leah Remini, the his wife from King of Queens. So they like brought her in at the end of season one. Mm-hmm. And now we're in season two. And it's like, oh, they're working together and blah, blah, blah. And the, it's a year later and the wife is dead and all this. I don't know. It's supposed, it's like a sitcom, but still. Um, and so yeah. I, I was looking up to see how many episodes were in season two because we only have up through 16 or whatever reported. But they're only like, you know, by the time you take out commercials, they're like 20 minutes. So we'll watch like a, yeah. an episode or two or like. Before I started working summer school, John would come home for lunch and we'd watch like two episodes during lunchtime or something. Um, yeah. So apparently got canceled after season two. <laughs> oh. So... <laughs> well then. So yeah. So we just have to finish what we have, I guess. And then, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't remember if 
I talked about the series series of unfortunate events that last. Oh, I haven't season. watched that season yet. That's in my list of oh, things you to watch. Haven't? No, it's in my list of things to watch this summer. Oh, okay. but I finished. Um, I watched the um the un un was it un Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Yeah, which I haven't which watched. They there's only four seasons of it, and the fourth season, like the first half of the fourth, the fourth season is their finale. Like they're not doing any more after four seasons, and they released like the first half, so they released six episodes on Netflix. So I've watched all of those. So I don't know when the rest of the ep the season is coming out. I think mm -hmm. it's later this year, but I'm caught up on that too. Oh, and I started um, reading a book today. What? I started reading during the summer? I know. I don't read a lot during the summer. But I got confused. I'm like, hold on, a, I know. a book? A, like a real book? Well, because we were driving around and I was like, I need something to do in the car. So, <laughs> so okay. I was like, let me read a book. Well, because we went to yeah. Starbucks too, because I wanted to get a drink at Starbucks because it's one of those weekends where if you visit every day in the weekend, you get a whole bunch of extra bonus stars or whatever. And our little Starbucks of down the road, um, they recently have set up a little bookshelf thing mm -hmm. and they have a take a book you know, keep, take a book, leave a book, whatever type thing. And I had some books cause I was going through some of my books and I had some that I've read that I was like, Oh, well, um, some of them I bought at the library bookstore and their library binding. And I was like, I don't think I could take these to like the book used bookstore or whatever. And I, I don't want to, I probably could, but I was like, eh, do I want to deal with that hassle? Cause it's out of my way and all that. And I don't want to list it on Amazon because then I have to like go to the post office. So I was like, well, I'll just take these like four little books and just donate them. So I yeah. did that. But anyway, so when I was doing that, I was looking through my books and I was like, oh, this is a book that um, I wanted to read that I had. That's why you bought it. I know, <laughs> but, but I just never got around to reading it. So I started it today and I'm not that far. I'm like 50 pages in because then I, I was reading a little bit and then I spun a little bit cause I was waiting for you. And then I was like, oh, let me read some more of this and let me spin some more or whatever. So I was kind of going back and forth, but this one is called behind closed doors and it was a target book club, whatever that I picked up. Um, and it's very interesting so far. It's uh, What's it about? It's a hair-raising debut from the author, a chilling thriller that will keep you reading long into the night. I don't know about that because I don't read that night because then I go to sleep. But <laughs> no matter what I'm reading, even if it's like the most interesting book ever, I will fall asleep if I'm reading it. I, I know. Read. I think you did that during Harry Potter. Yeah. And I we're did. like, we all read throughout the night. You're not done yet? No, I finished I, I finished it. Harry well, you the did. last Harry Potter. Yeah. I finished it with a no. That was like someone else who did oh. not read it that weekend at all and was like, well, I'm just going to take my time with it. And the two of us like. Okay. I was about to say it was some power read through. And I'm it like, what me. the heck? No, it wasn't me. I, I read yeah. it like as we were, it was, we got home at like midnight and I started reading it and did not fin did not go to bed until I finished. I, anyway. Because you had to. So right. That way we could but talk. I also was not in bed. Or whatever. I can't read in bed. That's okay, I should preface okay, that. Okay. I cannot read in bed because then I'll fall asleep. But anyway, so it's a book and it says um, it's a ter it's one of the best and most terrifying psychological thrillers the San Francisco Book Review has ever read. So I don't is know. it terrifying? Yet? It hasn't been terrifying yet, oh. but I'm only like three chapters in. I'm on oh, page 50. okay. okay. <laughs> so anyway, it's about this like perfect. I don't know much about it because I'm only on page 50, but there's a perfect couple. They're newlyweds. They seem to have it all, blah, blah, blah. And it says um, the two of them are inseparable. And it says some people call this true love. Others might wonder why the wife never answers her phone or why she can never meet for coffee, even though she doesn't work or how she can cook such elaborate meals, but remain so slim and so on and so forth. Why she never takes anything with her when she leaves the house, not even a pen. And then it says, or why there are such high security metal shutters all on all the downstairs windows. So I don't know. We'll find out. Hopefully by the next time we record, I'll be done. I won't tell you guys though, because then you'll read it, but I'll, you know. You'll have yeah. to let me know if I should. Read. Yes. Let's start with yes. that. It says, some might wonder what's really going on once the dinner party is over and the front door has closed. Dun, dun, dun. 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 <laughs> yeah. So anyway. <laughs> Um, like I said, 50 pages in, but I mean, it's holding my interest and, you know, in the summers, I don't read a lot. So, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I haven't listened well, to any books. Also, any we're going to be making a road trip too. And I was like, I need to get back into reading because usually I will read on the way. Now I have, so for a while I took a break off of my um, podcast that I was listening to on mm -hmm. Spotify lore. Yeah. And so I started re-listening to that, huh. which is about lore <laughs> folk tales yeah. stuff 
I don't know how. Bigfoots and huckleberry chocolate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and ghosts. <laughs> Which was funny. Ghost Bigfoots. <laughs> I was talking uh, to my brother about ghosts and Josh was in the other room and he came running. He's like, are you guys talking about ghosts? <laughs> He's like, does he believe in ghosts? I'm like, everybody in my family believes in ghosts. <laughs> He's like, oh. Does Josh believe in ghosts? Yes. Really? He does. I totally did not think that he would be one who believes in ghosts. Just like Mike didn't think that I was one that would. Yeah. Well, just of all people. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not all stories are real. Right. Because most of them aren't, <laughs> but there are real ones. Yes. But that's for another episode about... Maybe in October. Yeah. <laughs> Which, speaking of uh, October... Yeah. I got an email, mm -hmm. mind you, it was still June, because it was last week, saying um, for the Bush Gardens Hollow Scream... Oh, their tickets are on sale, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, what the heck? It's not even July. I don't we know. still have months and months. So I don't know. I, we went to Bush Gardens last weekend just for a few hours, and it was ridiculously hot and crowded. And we were there in the evening after the sun went down, and we didn't get on any so rides hot. because all of the rides were like ninety-minute waits. But with the reason we went was because we wanted to get our pass holder lanyards. So that was our what free is thing it for, for July. I don't remember, but I know that we had got our lanyards for June. I know that last. you get two free beers every visit until August. I think, I, it, so I think in July beer. you get a third one or something. I don't know. I don't remember. It was something. I'll look it up and we'll talk about it later. Only one day, though? I or every know, time? I don't know. Because I need to plan this stuff. Maybe, maybe Josh and I will get up super early on the 4th, seeing that I have off. Yeah. And we'll go there for like a few hours. And that. And they're open really late that day, too, because of the fireworks. Um, the and that, fireworks which and we'll, we probably won't stay for that. Yeah. Just because it gets crazy. And then people are crazy out on the streets. We'll just be at home with the dogs what and the it? neighbors. July. Oh, July is buy one, get one 50% off adult entrees after 5 p.m. Mm. I think yeah. it was in June you got an extra free beer sample. Darn. Yeah. Oh, well. Like um, a free me pass member lanyard, which we got ours. Yeah. I don't have a lanyard. I mean, it was nothing like big and whatever. Um, <laughs> so Josh and I are talking about getting either canoes or kayaks. Oh. <laughs> so. Yes. Nothing's in stone yet. We're still debating on which one. Mm -hmm. But I think kayaks would be easier to put on top of the car than a canoe. I don't know. And he's like, no, no, canoe would be easy. So I have no knowledge of anything related to kayaks or canoes or any sort of water vehicle. If we get a canoe, all. will you go on it? Come on. We can see alligators in their natural That's habitat. That's really not going to get me on the canoe. <laughs> <laughs> They're adorable, especially Ugh. the little tiny baby one sitting nope. on top of the mall. Nope, nope, nope. nope. They're not going to bother you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Josh won't tip it over. He'll just like steer us into some spiders. And yeah, just I'll like, normally get it. I was going to say, just like Josh doesn't like try and thrust cats in my face either. So <laughs> you and Josh both do that. So no, <laughs> because they're cats. Mm -hmm. They just want to be loved. And anyway. they were little kittens. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're in our area, though, you can come and see me and Annie in yes. a few weeks and a month, a month. Yeah, I think it's a month, a month from. August? Tuesday. Yeah, August 3rd, 4th, okay. and 5th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. Yay! So. <laughs> so, Tampa Bay area. Yes. August. Annie. Yes. Go. Contact me. Check my yeah. Instagram and stuff because I have info there. Yep. So, anyway, speaking of. Oh, nice segue there. We have social media. Instagram. Mine is pearlygirl75. And I am knits and bits. <laughs> We also have um, our videos on YouTube, Two Crafty Stitches, The Crafty is with a K, and we have our um, WordPress thing, which is twocraftystitches.wordpress.com that we don't really keep up with. Um, <laughs> it's all on me, whatever. And um, we have our Twitter, which is also Two Crafty Stitches. Yep. Well, I think that's it. So happy crafting, everyone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>